we're really excited to present and film and offer the horse course as um, as an advanced tutorial. I would call this a level five tutorial. It kind of um, it takes a good deal of familiarity with armatures and techniques and fiber, as well as practice in um, your sort of seeing. Um, translation to sculpture to 3d form the horses are so particular um, and they the shapes that they create their proportions the angles of things and there's no hiding behind a lot of fur as in um, like a camel or a moose or um, you know fluffy things and something like the elephant which is a really big project, a ton of wool, also takes quite a bit of sculpture, but it's a little more open to um, to interpretation. Horses come in a huge variety of shapes and colors, although their proportions and features are generally the same. So there's a ton of opportunity here in advancing your sculptural technique, your fiber knowledge, um, and and I think also in terms of color, generally once you make one, you're gonna wanna make more. So my suggestion is following the video, first of all, to, to take a look at the sequence of videos, whoops, um, right, from, right from the start to become familiar with what we're building towards and also to make two armatures you know when you start because going through the process twice just solidifies everything more in your brain and you're right there in it um and you're going to want to make once you make one you're going to want to make another color <laughs> so um in terms of materials we're using 14 gauge wire although um, throughout teaching the courses in person, a few people wanted to experiment with 12 gauge or at least the supplemental wires being 12 gauge. So that is definitely a possibility. Several pipe cleaners, um, a 22 gauge, that will be the tail. In terms of tools, um, I'm using a face ace and a Zoli tool pretty often. And you could use swax on the hooves. It's not necessary but it is a very cool detail we use some round um, toothpicks or cocktail sticks and and then you'll need a family of fiber that creates your horse so like coordinating um, core and top coat and then mane and tail fiber so the horse weighs between seven and eight ounces, just to give you an idea of about how much wool we'll be going through. Um, for the video, I'm going to make kind of an interesting color horse, um, a dun, um, but maybe like, like a Palomino with um, like darker dapples. So it's gonna kind of evolve. But we have a line of horse coat colors they are created in-house and i have just a, a few of them here um, this is the palomino this is the dun this is the dark you know some horses are darker than bay but they're not quite black we have a silver which is beautiful and a um, um a blue roan there's also bay chestnut there's not there's eight in total and you can also look at the the house carded section in the skin tones and the pelts as well. All of those bats will felt really well as a top coat. In core, um, you're gonna look for four ounces of core, whether it's gray, off-white, I'm gonna use wheat, wheat and um, car caramel. And um, so pick a, pick a core, core wool that coordinates. And then you're gonna want some accents, uh, whether you're doing you know, a darker dapple on top or darker legs. Um, this was the Pinto that I just made. So I used um, liver chestnut and and uh, Serafina white. And Carob Core makes a great hoof, but you can use a lot of different colors for hooves. 
Um, and then a little bit of black and white just for eyes. So the whole list, you have a whole materials list, but I just kind of wanted to throw out um, some of the things to consider when you're, when you're getting ready. So we're going to make our armature first and go from there.